You did it. <laughs> We're doing it. Kelsey and Michelle's love for one another reflects Jesus' teaching so beautifully. Not only them coming together as a family, literally, but what their community looks like. We are all people who come from all sorts of walks of life and understandings of how we view the world. So although this may seem unconventional, I'd like to start by saying that wherever you find yourself today, however you identify with your own ways of speaking of a higher power or creator of the universe, whether you identify in this way or you do not, whether you have been loved by the church or you have not, whether you follow a different faith tradition or none at all, we come together today because of love and we are all a part of that. Before uh, I can do this, I need to ask you both two very important questions. <coughs> Have you ever been on a road trip together? Multiple. <laughs> Have you ever been on a canoe trip together? Absolutely. Right, yeah, so I paddled. Yeah. <laughs> and you still want to get married? Yes. Let's do it. Kelsey, I get to ask you now, do you take Michelle to be your wife? to love, cherish, nurture, empower, encourage all the day of your life, today, tomorrow, and always. And Michelle, do you take Kelsey to be your wife, to love, cherish, nurture, empower, and encourage all the day of your life, today, tomorrow, and always? I do. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us, he sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sin. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges Jesus as the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. This is how love is made complete amongst us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Amen. Kelsey, I love our life together. You're my favorite person to travel with, laugh with, cook with. You're my favorite person to work out with and dream and scheme with. But above all, you're my favorite person to raise these boys with. We are already a family, but today I've become your wife. <laughs> I know God created you specifically for me and that perhaps we were made for such times. <laughs> That's our favorite scripture. Loving you is effortless and undeniable. You're all I ever prayed for and nothing I ever expected. For years now, before we fall asleep or right before we wake up, one of us will say, I'm so glad it's you. I promise to never take that feeling for granted and I'll always be so glad it's you next to me. Kels, I vow to pray for you and with you. I vow to trust you, honor you, and remind you how loved you are. I vow to encourage you and empower you. I vow to love you every day in all the ways I know how. Kelsey Crowley, I'm so proud to be your wife. <laughs> our story, our love story, is a story of love and joy and a story of finding a home <laughs> in the unexpected. Through our story, I have watched you become an even stronger person who relentlessly pursues all things joy in life. Along the way, I fell in love with you, and now we have built our dream life with our incredible boys. I know with all of my heart that beside you three is where I am meant to be. 
I will always pursue you. I will stand up for you. And I will be there to remind you who you are. I will keep choosing you over and over again without pause and without doubt. I will keep choosing you.